What's up, Kyle Gang? All right, so we're back with the statics problem. So we're trying to find the center of mass of the y-axis. So we want to find where the center of mass uh, vertically is. So that's y-bar. So let's go ahead and find it. So I drew this image here. Uh, in this case, A is equal to 45 millimeters. And we have a height and two kind of rectangles stacked on top of each other. So in the drawing, you can see that there's two sides of this. And you can do the two sides. But in this case, I just decided to break it into two because you know it's symmetrical across the y-axis, it's not actually going to make a difference because whatever's happening here is happening over there. So I just kind of got rid of it. It's going to be a little bit more simple this way, but feel free to do it the other way, you know? Maybe try it out, make sure you get the same answer. Uh, and let's get started. So what we want to do is I drew this table here. So we have segment, area, y tilde, which is the center of mass of each segment, and then y tilde times area, which is just something we're going to calculate to make math easier. So what we want to do is we want to break this into two segments, or we want to break this into as many segments as we think we need to make it all simple shapes. So in this case, I think it's just going to be two segments. So one way you could do it is you could divide it like this, or you could divide it like this. I'm going to divide it like this because it's going to make things a little easier. And we're going to label this segment one and label this segment two. So there we go, we have segment one and segment two. Segment one, segment two. So now we need to find the area of each segment. So it looks like the area of the top rectangle is 150 times 50, right? So that's going to be 75, uh, 100, right, for the first area. So make sure we remember this is in millimeters cubed. So you want to make sure that we keep track of the units as we go along. So for two, now we have this shape. So it's area times 300, so 45 times 300. Right? 45 times 300 is 1300. All right, 13, 1350. 13,500. That's what I meant to say. Oh, I drew that on the right spot. Well, you know, 13,500. Simple enough. All right, so now we need to find their center of masses. So for a rectangle, of course, the center of mass is just going to be at the halfway point. So we know that this one is going to be there and this one's going to be there. So now we just need to do the math to find out where these are. So of course for the lower triangle it's pretty easy, it's just going to be half of 300, so this is going to be 50, or 150. And then for this one, we're going to go up to 300 and then we're going to go up half of 50, so it's going to be 300 plus 25, so that'll be 325. Right. So then we just need to multiply these together. Um, I didn't do that already. So there you go, we get two big numbers here. So uh, I lost my notes, here they are. So literally what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and we're gonna say y bar, right? We know that our equation for this is sum of y tilde area over the sum of the area, right? So we have areas, we have these two areas, and we have y tilde area, so we're gonna add these together and divide it by these two being added together. It's that simple, so y tilde is equal to, so we're gonna add these up, so two, four, three, seven, five, zero, zero, plus two, zero, two, five, zero, 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 over 7,500 plus 13,500. And the math is that simple. So literally now you just plug it into your calculator and you find y bar. And if you plug that in, of course you get y bar is 212.5 millimeters. So, you know, around there, which is uh, what we'd expect it to be. So cool, so this makes sense, everything works out, and yeah, it's a great day. So if you're having any trouble with statics, uh, feel free to check out the rest of my channel. I've got a lot of uh, videos, I have a playlist, and yeah, hopefully uh, I can help you out. So leave any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Peace.